In this paper, I want to reflect on three issues. The first is, what do we mean by a person of compassion? Secondly, how do we produce people of compassion? And thirdly, what are the consequences for ourselves in trying to produce people of compassion? We often define compassion as a feeling of distress at the plight or suffering of another human being, which impels us to do something concretely and immediately to alleviate that suffering. Now, we certainly want students who have a compassion for those who are poor and marginalized in our societies. We want them to commit themselves to analyzing and challenging the structures which create and maintain poverty and marginalizations in our societies and in our world. We want them to go beyond compassion for the poor to a solidarity with the poor and a passion for justice. How do we do that? Well, using the see, judge, reflect format, I think we first of all have to offer our students the opportunity for an intensive experience of being with the poor, as St. Ignatius and Pope Francis uh, constantly remind us. We then have to offer them the opportunity to reflect on that experience. Now that requires us to invest time and energy <clears throat> in our own teachers so that they will have the commitment to solidarity and that passion for justice, which would enable them to be supportive of the student's reflection. And thirdly, we have to offer them the opportunity to act on that reflection. <laughs> this may have profound consequences for our own schools. Unless our schools reflect in their structures the solidarity and passion for justice, which we are trying to instill in our parishes, then our schools will be at best ineffective and at worst a contradiction to what we claim we are trying to achieve. To produce people, students of compassion, is a challenge. A challenge not just for our students, but a profound challenge also for ourselves.